What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today I'm playing a one disc round with the newest offering from Axiom Discs, the Prism Plasma Envy. Let's get to it. Before we get to the video, please click that like button if you're enjoying the content. If you find yourself coming back often, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell. It really helps me out and I try to post videos at least once a week. As always, thank you all for the support. I've said it for a long time, the Envy is like the gateway drug disc to Gyro. It's my favorite disc from MVP. Uh, it's a putter that really does it all from putting to driving. Uh, it's got a speed of three, a glide of three, turn of zero, and a fade of two. I mean, every brand has that one disc that they do exceptionally well that, you know, other brands try to copy, but just can't quite pull it off. And for MVP, it's their envy. So to have it in the prism plastic is very exciting. Uh, what I'm anticipating is because of the prism rim, it's, you know, presumably more durable than that of the standard rim. So if you like the envy, like fresh out of the box, I believe the prism rim is going to help it preserve those flight characteristics longer, which is very exciting. You know, I love my beat in envies for highs or flips, but there's just nothing like a crisp, brand new Envy with that stability on it that you can hit with like you know a little bit of Anheuser even, and it'll fight back, give you some nice little tight uh, you know S lines, or one you can just just hammer on the darn thing from the tee and watch it go out like 300 feet, which is awesome. So uh, really excited for the offering. I'm really happy they went with the plasma core just because I liked I like the offset of having a soft core with a uh, you know a more uh, rigid rim because I like to put my thumb on the disc and kind of push out. And feel that little, you know, that resistance spot. That's where I get my grip from. Uh, just because you feel that shoot off of your thumb when you're throwing. So to be able to really, like, you know, dig into the disc uh, is something I like to do. So that plasma core is great. But uh, without further ado, I headed out to my uh, private course, uh, Fullmore Heights. Uh, again, private course. You must be a member or escorted by a member to play there. So please, no trespassing. Uh, but I thought it would be a great course given its short length. Uh, I was playing League that day. So I went and played the, uh, the Club 9, which is... Uh, holes one through six, and then you jump to 17, 18, 19, uh, and that gives you a nice nine hole loop. I thought that gave me, you know, a good diversity of shot shapes to really put this disc to the test. So let's get to the round. First ever throw with the Prism Plasma Envy. Let's see what we can do here. That's mine too. Alright. A little floaty, but we're out there. Not bad at all. I typically have to throttle down a MIDI to get here. So, I've been flexing entropies on this one just to distance check me, so probably gonna need to take a little bit off of this, a little bit of angle. Good stable. Whew. That should be parts unless you got a crazy roll. See how she handles a forehand. It's pretty good. You a video taste of it? Yep. <laughs> what a little tree love. 
All right, these proton rims like to bounce off trees and get close to the basket, apparently. This is a tricky one just because of the distance check. It's a forehand, but I usually throw something really overstable like an entropy or deflector up high and make it crash. Basket's right up on the tree line on the right side. Look pretty high and stolen. I did a little bit too much with the envy, I think, for that shot. I could have just backhanded it and tried to try to spike it in, but it probably would have rolled. Just not a good shot for this disc in particular. Let's see if I can punch one under here. Oh, thought I kept the perfect round alive for a second. This is usually a full rip with my Eclipse or my Neutron Envy. Not worried about the disc, I'm more worried about my back. So uh, if I go down, this will be a funny video. Short. We're parked. And I didn't die. Woo! I'll take a lot more of those. So for the club nine, you jump over from hole six over here to hole 17. It's one of my favorite ace runs on the course here. It's got this beautiful, you know, dangling leaves and stuff right in front of the tee. So there's a nice little baby hyzer line. Game plan here is, you know, just give it the height to get there and don't scare the ducks on the right. Your appreciation here. It's the largest privately held tributary of the Penny Pack Creek here. There's usually a big black snake that hangs out right there, so don't hit that tree. I think it's fun. You got the rivals to the Goose Gang, the Duck Dynasty. Oh, beautiful day. A little muddy, but still nice. Just short. My life story. Definitely enjoying the uh, the plasma glide on these babies. That thing carried way more than I thought it would.
All right, I got two options here. Forehand, but again, I usually just throw something very overstable just to get the bend on it. Or backhand with an Anheuser. And my back doesn't like either right now. A uh, little bit of a heady coming from right to left. I think it's gonna be an Anheuser. Some thoughts and prayers. Same kind of shot, nice high water angle. Should be a look. So, that was really good, like this disc. First ever throw with the Prism Plasma Envy. Let's see what we can do here. So if I had a criticism for this disc, I think it's that I'm gonna need to extend the rack on my shelf for envies because i'm going to be buying a bunch of these this disc is great i mean i love the plasma core the grip is really nice i can sink my hand into it get that release point that i like so when i you know when i you know release i get that pop on the thumb the rim really nice really strong uh durable so i think it will preserve the flight characteristics longer uh than a standard disc which is what i'm looking for uh i want to have one envy that's so fresh you know and has that stability the flight numbers on this guy are interesting i i want to say they say it's Fade of, uh, or turn of zero, fade of two. I think it might be like a fade of 2.5. There's something interesting about this flight. It's not like a normal Envy. Uh, it was very noticeable in hold two. When I throw my Envies on that little bit of Anheuser, they tend to kind of just get over and they get back to flat, but they just ride to the right and don't really fight back. This boy fought back, and I really like that little compact S shot. So in terms of stability, I think your bigger arms are going to like this Envy because... They can mash on it and not have to worry about like getting over on it too much. It has that stability to forgive you on that. For you know, lower arms and medium arms, it's it's a great stable putter. I mean, you're not going to beat it, I think. Uh, the glide was awesome. Um, I mean, I, I was throwing hurt and throwing it about as far as I was throwing my you know regular enemies on full power. And I did play my league round after that. And when I was you know laying up on those uh, Eclipse Envies and Neutron Envies uh, with the exact same speed it felt and same release angles, this was outperforming. So... That's something very exciting. I mean, you improve the envy. That's that's awesome. So, uh, putting putter. Wouldn't really see it as a putting putter. I mean, the plasma core, not ideal. It's slick. I did putt with premium plastic for a while, but uh, I just kind of grew out of it. I'm putting, you know, electron anodes now. So, this felt foreign to me. But if you want to putt with plasma, feel free. It'll definitely be glidey. Uh, but, yeah, guys, definitely be on the lookout for these. I'm going to be grabbing a few more. I have the blue one in my, uh, is in my small bag for short courses. This guy, I'm probably going to throw it in my bag, but I'm probably not going to keep him there just because this is like lose me in the fairway green. I have a color deficiency, and this is just like camouflage to me. So uh, I'm probably going to be grabbing a bunch of these and some better colors for my eyes, and I recommend you do the same. Uh, based on newsletter drop, I'm guessing we'll be seeing these at retailers at the end of June, uh, if not early July. So definitely uh, be on the lookout for them, guys. If you have any questions for me, uh, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Basket Bashers Disc Golf.